Hey everybody, this is Nathaniel Deal, and I'm here with a one-year update. So it has been exactly one year since the first launch of the ammo counter in the Etsy shop. And I am here to give you an update of what happened, what's gonna happen for this year, and answer any questions that came along the way. First off, I wanna go through this very slow montage of these awesome videos and photos of people using the ammo counter. Montage. So, a little bit of stats from last year, we sold over 150 ammo counters to at least 11 countries. So thank you to all these countries that have to pay all this extra money to get those over there. Uh, this year we're going to be focusing on getting the ammo counters into those countries so that I don't have to do the shipping from America, which is going to save you guys tons of money in the long run. Um, I got a lot of things planned. I got it all written right here, so let's get started. First thing, I'm going to talk about the ammo counter and the price. The ammo counter Mark I was $100 and the reason was because the first time I created this it took me about five hours to build one and then once it got to market it took me about two and a half hours to build one now two and a half hours to build something on top of a price point of at least 60 bucks for the price was actually I was losing money on the on the ammo counter but I knew that I could get the process down to the point where it would actually make some money and then I could um, invest that in R&D to make an even better product. So that's what I did. Later this month or earlier next month, I will be releasing the V2. So V2 is a lot smaller. It actually sits on top of the Arduino. We still have the same LED, which goes onto the top, battery, JST connector, and then you have the IR beam. Of course, this is a lot smaller, but you get the picture and there it is that is the v2 let's flip it on all right and if you notice it's in red v2 will be available in green blue red orange some other colors i haven't found yet but opening up for more colors this year this product is actually the prequel to the mark ii the mark ii has not been designed yet but this board and this package was made for the mark ii so it's going to be awesome can't wait to release this. All right, what else we got? The Universal Kit V2. Uh, the Universal V2 will be an internal type installation and then the Mark II will kind of take care of the external installation. So the Mark II will come with the external barrel. The Universal Kit will come with an internal barrel. Lots of stuff like that coming soon. And I don't really get into too much of that. Just be on the lookout for that. All right, we got Rival. All right, so I released a rival kit at one point and we had a lot of bugs with it and that was due to the fact that the rival has a very large barrel and the original ammo counter was not made for that. Once I went to that very large barrel, my PC boards weren't working, I was having wiring issues and it just wasn't counting down the way that I wanted to. So I pulled it out of the store. Don't worry, it will be back soon as soon as the V2 is done. I will be working on a specific IR beam for the Rival series. After that, I plan to do Mega and then maybe even some Paintball. Yeah, I said Paintball. All right, uh, what else we got here? <whistles> Select Fire. Ooh. Nerf has released a new blaster that has Select Fire. Of course they did. They're using the IR beam. The same thing that I was gonna use to build my select fire kit. This select fire kit, I hope to be a drop in to any of the blasters that are automatic, the Nemesis, the Rapid Strike, all those. You just drop it in and then it will instantly give you select fire, single fire, and full auto. Uh, last thing, mag detection. Um, a lot of requests for mag detection because people don't have the time in the middle of war to select their mags. What we're planning to do is uh, you'll install a magnet onto your magazine and then a Hall effect sensor that will be in your mag wheel. 
And depending how far that magnet is or the polarity of that magnet, it will tell that hall sensor which mag, which mag you are using, mag magnet. When we have that done closer to beta, uh, I'll definitely shoot a video and I'll definitely share to everyone how to do this. Um, this could be a do-it-yourself add-on or um, we may come up with a kit, 3D printed kit, uh, to get that out there. I will definitely keep you guys updated on everything. The next video I plan to shoot is going to be the beta for the V2. Look at this little guy, oh my gosh. It is so tiny. I can do whatever I want with it. So, anyway, thank you for supporting Ammo Counter. Happy nerfing. Hey everybody, it's Nathaniel Deal. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Nathaniel Deal, and this is a ammo counter update. So congratulations, <clears throat> congratulations to who? You know, who are you congratulating? Hey everybody, this is Nathaniel Deal, and I am shooting a video. Yes, I am.